Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video episode on the Forgotten Weapons Library. I'm Ian, and we're, we've been on a bit of a Luger kick recently, and we have another in a progression of Luger books to take a look at. Of course, the first was, uh, a couple weeks ago we took a look at uh, Jeffrey Sturgis's massive three-volume set on the development of the Luger, and that takes it the story through roughly the end of the First World War. And of course, at that time, uh, the Allies uh, really put the kibosh on ge the German small arms industry and prohibited them from doing much development. They confiscated and destroyed a whole lot of existing guns. Uh, however, there was a little bit of an opening left, and by 1924, they had allowed uh, one specific company in Germany to start building new Lugers and retrofitting, repairing, replacing, uh, overhauling existing Lugers for the German military, such as was allowed to exist at the time, and also for various police forces. That company was Simpson. And the book we have today is called Simpson Lugers, and it's by Edward Tinker and Graham Johnson. And this is, this is not just a look at one specific, you know, very niche company. This is um, a look at the Lugers from the Weimar era, uh, from 1924 through the, the beginning of the Second World War, or through the beginning of German rearmament. Um, Simpson was a long-established commercial gun company. They hadn't ever really been that big in military arms. And that's probably a large part of why they were chosen to be the firm allowed to work on Lugers, because the Allies didn't want to let a major concern like DWM or Mauser uh, get that kind of production capacity back online in the 1920s. So it fell to Simpson. Uh, there, wasn't, there weren't a whole lot of guns made. Uh, Simpson Lugers are fairly rare. They're often copied, faked. Um, and this is a, a good book for establishing what's real uh, versus what's fake, and what you can expect to see in the genuine Simpson Luger, as well, of course, as going through the overall history of the company. So let's take a closer look inside. All right, opening this up, first section I'm going to flip to here is actually part of the chapter on, the section on police use of Lugers done by Simpson. And this specifically is taking a look at the magazine safety that was briefly added, uh, something very obscure and uncommon that we're taking a look at here. Uh, furthermore, let's see, what else do we have? Um, a look at acceptance and proof marks. There's also some discussion of the various finishes that were used. Because Simpson was refurbishing and rebuilding existing Lugers, it is historically correct to find guns that are marked by Simpson but made by someone else or only have a few parts made by Simpson. So it's important to be able to understand uh, what markings would be correct and what might be fraudulent. Now, uh, on the same theme, here we go. Uh, marks on part of the toggle mechanism. Uh, this is a fake off the internet, and then these are some different variations of legit original ones. So, uh, there's a, a good chart of serial numbers and types and models, the different types of proof marks that were used on them that you can use to compare to guns you may have, or guns that you're considering purchasing. And then at the end, a, uh, a photographic study of a number of, as best everyone can tell, genuine Simpson Lugers. And this is just, this is nice for, uh, for the collector who wants to just ogle some nice looking guns, and also for the researcher who's trying to authenticate something or determine what, what you would expect to see on a, a Luger of a specific uh, vintage. So, if Lugers are your thing, uh, the Weimar era is a significant and important period in their development and manufacture, and this, uh, this book is a real good resource, one of few, on specifically those interwar uh, production years. So you can get it directly from the publishers, Simpson, not to be confused with the company Simpson, uh, and there's a link below where you can find it online. Thanks for watching.